Yo, welcome to. Oh, somebody's calling us over there. Wait, we got to start this. They're, they're trying to get. They're trying to get. They're trying to get our attention. They're acting like snakes. Anyway, welcome. Uh, if you, in case you couldn't tell, we're in the heart of uh, the, the bayou. Blue, the blue bayou. We're in the bayou right now. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in California. That's right. This is the first. This is the inaugural. Is that the word inaugural? Yeah. Episode of. Uh, creepy old crypt where we're going to take something out of the tomb dust it off and talk about it no basically this is just like talking about like what would you say talking about like old weird Disney stuff exactly yeah that we remember oh the guy oh they're saying throw me a roll these guys are all everybody yeah throw them a roll yeah oh man Dr. Ryan invented that joke uh, what was that? Say Dr. That Ryan invented that joke. The yeah. last 16 times I've ridden with him, he said it. So he has to have invented that joke. Yeah, he has said it every time yeah. we've been on this ride with him. Um, but, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thanks. We just got some bread and butter. Um, oh, it might be blocking the mic here. Anyway, yeah. uh, so sorry if we stub our faces during this. This episode is about um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, we thought we would talk about our mem- any memories that we had of like going on it back in the day or just any anything we can you know anything basically that we can remember this is one of the best rides is this one of your favorites yeah. oh, would yeah. you say uh, yeah. out of the dark rides this is probably my favorite yeah probably on, other than you know you're always you've always been like an Indiana Jones guy that's my favorite ride in the park yes, yes but, but but this is uh, of the dark this ride time. this is my favorite I like this more than haunted mansion just because I like water stuff yes and, you know, for me it's always like neck and neck yeah. I love Haunted Mansion, but it's always close to this. Like, this one, is it's neck and neck. Yeah. I think this is probably objectively the better ride. Um, I think because I, I, like, I like a little bit of thrill in yeah. my rides, and it's yeah. that thrill. So. Yeah, I think this one is, I think Pirates is the most impressive. Uh, take some bread if you want some. But, um, oh, yeah. Uh, Pirates has always been, to me, the most impressive just because of... Uh, what it was like it was kind of it was the last thing that Walt Disney kind of oversaw yeah technically like there's other things he saw before he died but but it was the last one he was like hands on I think and um, uh, thank you very much what, thank you oh thank you so much um, yeah there was a um, uh, no it was the last thing he had his hands on and just kind of was involved in and yeah. and he got all the artists from all the movies all the all the classic Disney movies, animated movies, and, and and live action too, and got them all together on it. And I think it they just went the extra mile because of you know yeah because he got movie people on the ride. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just think it's uh, there's no other kind of ride like it. Just in terms of the you amount know, of animatronics and stuff is stunning. Even today. Even today, yeah. yeah. And I think um, just given like. You know, today we're kind of spoiled because there's a lot of rides. Uh, uh, there, I mean, you know, there's just rides everywhere, and they're all kind of. Most of them are kind of like promoting a new thing coming out, or you know, something like that. But this was made at a time where it was almost kind of like they were always, almost kind of making it as an art form, sort of. Yeah. You know, because it had all the, like I said, all the artists involved. Uh, they were honestly trying to do something different. It was a totally different art form, so. You know, for something made in the '60s like this, like it's really impressive. It blew my back then and today. It's still, it's still, still a stunning like kind achievement. Of, again, for its, for what type of ride it is, it's kind of untopped still. Yeah. And it's funny because they've built uh, pirates. I'm gonna have some bread. Uh, they they've built pirates in other territories too, like uh, uh, to, you know, obviously all the other parks have yeah. pirates at this point, but none, I don't think any of them top. The Anaheim one, they don't. Um, the, uh, They're all their own. Like yes. each one's different, and yeah. this one's the best one. Some of them are like rearranged in yeah. what you see at first and yeah. stuff. This is the best. Yeah, the Anaheim one uh, has, and I think primarily the big the big thing um, with that, and you know why ours is, stands above is it's kind of like it's got all this introductory stuff that the other ones don't have like this one you it's like half the ride before you see a pirate kind of yeah you don't see a pirate until much much further further yeah and i think you know first of all i've said this before i've said this before about um uh the intro to the ride is 
it's the only ride I know of that has a like a whisper in the dark. I know this sounds goofy, but it's the only ride where it's like it ha- it's, it starts on like a really quiet moment. You know, most rides are like big and loud or whatever. Yeah. It's the only one I know of that has like. I mean, that skull is on the wall and it whispers to you. It's just like basically like yeah. it's too late. It's dark like, and slow. And like you're 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 done for. Like yeah. don't don't come down here. Yeah. Like I don't know any other ride that <laughs> quietly no, tells you to exactly. go away. You yeah. know, basically or, or warns you. I've always loved like this. The stuff we can see right here. It's, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Dark, dark, smooth bayou. Yeah, like fireflies and stuff. Yeah, and that's why uh, that's why we decided to do this here. Honestly, is because uh, this is. I believe the only one in the world that has the restaurant inside of Pirates. Oh, yeah. Like the rest of them don't have that, yeah. uh, to my knowledge. And uh, but yeah, so this ride, you've got the little quiet moment, the little whispery moment, and then you go down the water thrall. You get the thrill part, yep. and that's that's about. I hate drops. That's about my threshold. Is that drop? Yeah. Uh, and it's I funny could, they had to do that because of the train tracks. They had to do that so it can get under that. Yeah, they needed to get um, they needed to get you into an underground portion, and then they decided to they decided to uh, build an, a a giant ride building like down the way, and you had to like go under. Yeah, it was a train track, right? Like, yeah, yeah. They built. Was this the first time they built Beyond the Berm? I'm like, not sure. That's a good. That question. was the first. Like, I yeah. forgot which ride it was that they went. Oh, we're gonna build yeah. outside the. The perimeter of the park. I think that was. I think that was what they did. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, well, either way, they had to get you get you over there. So yeah, you go down the waterfall, and it takes you somewhere else. And it's funny that the underground, the first area that you're in, is uh, this place with all the skeletons and stuff. And it's just kind of all these skeletons and their treasure deteriorating. And um, uh, now that part is always that seems to be what the other ones are lacking. Yeah. Like this kind of like intro. I always felt this was in reverse. Like you saw like this bought by you, yeah. the skeletons and live pirates and then yeah. Like, um, that yeah that you don't really like when you go on it in Florida. It's just like pirates right away. It's just not really no. as cool. But this one you get to see you see this kind of like morbid scene before you ever get to a pirate, and it's almost like you almost get the end result first. Oh, cool. Yeah. The salad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much. Um, cool. Very cool, dude. We. I got. Uh, I upgraded to the shrimp with my meal. You know, normally I get the gumbo, but this time I got the shrimp. You know, because it sounded good. I haven't. Ha- I haven't tried this. No, one. it's new. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, you would see this kind of morbid scene, and. Um, it was kind of like the story of the pirates was told in reverse. Yep. Like you'd see them all dead. Like it, all of this amounts to nothing. So with all their of, dead and treasure and stuff like yeah, that. And then the yeah. Fighting and then the. Yeah, know. kind of like how they got there. Um, and yeah. I've heard, I've heard two things. I've heard that that was an intentional like storytelling thing. Or not, not really telling a story, but yeah. like, I don't think they, I don't think they wanted to tell a specific story, but more kind of just showing a cautionary tale kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But then I've also heard other people say that they filled the main building down the way with pirates and then they had this whole underground area already dug out because it was originally going to be a A a walkthrough yeah Yeah, and because they didn't use that space someone was like or walter somebody was like "Eh, fill it up with skeletons and and i heard that mark davis that who is the artist behind the ride was like not happy about that it was like why are, you, why are you putting skeletons before yeah. pirates? I'm, I've heard that. But I've heard both. I've heard he liked it and didn't like it. So I don't know what okay. to. I don't know what to believe. But anyway, uh, you got to you got to entertain him while I'm eating the shrimp. Yeah. You know, so you, this is yeah. some good looking shrimp, by the it way. It does look really really good. Look. Yeah, it's got tails on. Mm-hmm. I used to when I was a kid. I loved this ride. This was one of my favorite rides to go on as a kid, just because I got to. Uh, I got to go on it with one of those toy guns. I thought that was the coolest thing in the mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. As soon as I got here, I got one of those toy guns from the gift shop, mm-hmm. and I remember having it in my belt buckle mm-hmm. uh, through the whole ride, thinking I was going to fight pirates or something, being like six yeah. doing that. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we were just talking about that. This shrimp is hot, man. Oh, man, that is spicy. Spicy hot? Oh, it, yeah. Cajun, dude. Mm-hmm. Finally, they got some Cajun food. Anyway, 
Um, uh, that was something I was going to bring up. Was um, the uh, the whole the gift shop? Like, yeah, they used to, they have a whole gift shop. As soon as you get out of the ride, there's yeah, a gift shop they used right to there. Have flintlock wooden metal guns that you could buy right at the end of the ride in the gift shop. And yeah. they got rid of those completely. Um, and they turned them into these, like, they were still metal and wood, but they were painted neon orange, the whole thing, or yeah. neon green. Yeah. And that was it. And then a few years ago, they just, they banned all of them. Mm-hmm. You couldn't have a single, even a space gun in the park. So, um, yeah, anything that looks like a gun can't be, I used, you can't bring it in the park. No, I used to have one of those, and I got rid of it at some point, and I was so bummed out. I think you still have yours. Yes, so I still have my, yeah, gun, and they looked, they looked and felt real, like they yeah, were, they were they heavy, were heavy, yeah. and metal and wood, and it, it was awesome. Yeah, as a kid, that was like the coolest, coolest thing possible. Um, but um, yeah, uh, you could put like little pop, the little caps mm-hmm. in the thing, and oh man, the paper ones. My the neighbors ones are hate, like flat, and they roll yeah, in the paper. My neighbors hated that. Huh. Um, but anyway. They had all kinds of stuff like that. I feel like I, I feel like I bought a metal sword there too. Now, yeah, I mean, obviously not a sharp sword, but I feel like I had, I feel like I had one. I could be crazy, but anyway. So that's what you would see when you got out of the ride. But um, do you remember riding it before? So you know, in case anybody out there doesn't know, they redid it around. Um, there's really two, have- two big changes the ride went through in ninety in ninety six ninety seven something like that. Mm-hmm. They uh, they changed it to be like more PC. Like there was a whole there was a whole section yeah. where um, there were all the pirates were chasing women through their homes, and then they that got that was kind of touchy. There was also like a pirate where <laughs> pirate sitting in front of a barrel that there was like a a, yeah, wom- he was a like woman. A and stuff. Yeah, he was holding her like a slip or something, and she was like it looked like she didn't have clothes in the barrel, and she was like hiding in there so they changed that in the mid 90s and they made it uh they made it more i remember i wrote it before that yeah i remember it was a slow process they like oh really they kept the the, the pirates chasing women but they added food on mm-hmm. plates to them so like they were chasing the food yeah and then they took that away and just switched them so that the and that the women were chasing the pirates around i think there's still one where a uh, pirate's chasing a woman, but yeah, it, my, um, yeah, she has I think food so too. Like, yeah, she has a plate of food over. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. I think you could be right about that. Um, but for a uh, during when they did that during that time, mm-hmm. I think they changed. Uh, what was it that? So that guy sitting by the barrel with the woman inside mm-hmm. it. Which, by the way, if you ever hear the recording of that, is it, it's on everywhere. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty racy for a Disney yeah. thing. He's like. He's looking at this woman and looking at you and going, I'd be willing to share. I'd be. Um, which I didn't expect. When I listened no. to the recording, I was like, did it always say that? That blew me away. Um, but anyway, for a little bit of time, um, that guy sitting by the barrel, when they changed it, when they made the big PC change, yeah, they made him sitting there. They gave him like a turkey leg or something, and he's eating that with a... Uh, I think it was a cat popping out of the barrel with a fish in its mouth or something. I could really. Am I am I imagining that? Do you remember that? I don't remember that at all. Um, really? I went before the, all the changes, and I don't think I went again mm-hmm. until after like I, I want to say no, it wasn't before the Jack Sparrow one. I, I there was a long period of time that I missed that um, the PC changes and stuff. Really? Okay. Yeah, because I remember during that time, I'm going to get to that in a second, the Jack Sparrow thing, but I was going to say during that time, I remember, um, I remember there was a lot of different stuff in there. Uh, they, like, they added other stuff too. There was a guy, and I brought this up the other day, and Sean, it was like a spark went off in his head. He was like, oh, I remember that. Yeah. There was a scene where it was like, yeah, a guy with a basket of bread or food, and there were... He's yeah. moving it over to one way, and a horse is trying to eat it. So yeah. he moves it over the other way, but then like another horse is trying to eat it, or a mule, or something like that. And um, it was, uh, yeah, something like that. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I think they added a bunch of chickens to the yeah. auction scene. 
There's a scene where they're obviously. I mean, if you've never been on it, there's yeah. they're auctioning women. Um, and uh, yeah, so they added that, and then they added uh, now what I thought what I thought was original. I thought I thought from the very beginning was this thing where uh, they're pulling up at the very end of the ride. Yeah. They're all firing guns at each other, and then they have there's, like, a, like a, isn't it? They're pulling treasure out of the thing. Yeah, there's guys pulling treasure up like by a rope, like they're pulling it up. Yeah. They're going like. They're like gritting their teeth and pulling up this treasure chest, and I thought that was—I always—I don't remember them adding that. I thought that was always an original yeah, piece. I did too. And then I didn't find out until the last year or two that that stuff and the dunk and the guy with the horses taking the food and all that was from was all leftover stuff from uh, a ride called World of Motion in Epcot mm. that they closed in the '90s, and uh, all the stuff in it was was kind of the same design. It was all like kind of like. Mark Davis or yeah. Ward Kimball designed or whoever uh, with that. I, they kind of both designed stuff in World of Motion. Uh, you know, Pirates here is all is all Mark Davis, but um, they just used a bunch of figures from that and recycled them and brought them here. So that was kind of crazy. I didn't realize that they ever did that. Yeah. That blew my mind. And I guess I guess the Spaniards when when you see that there's a pirate uh, there's a pirate ship battle halfway through the ride, oh the ones that pop up there's Spaniards that pop up over the wall and yeah. I guess those aren't original either they're also really? from from World of Motion yeah I don't know that. in Epcot and you can look at them because again one of them is like he's like gritting his teeth and mm-hmm. I think they're like yeah, there's like a guy pulling a horse in World of Motion and I think that's him? him yeah I think that's cool. I think that's what it is you were saying something about um, a cat with a fish in its mouth mm-hmm. popping out of that thing yeah. yeah. They just added one of those in that scene when, you, yeah. when you're seeing the singing people mm-hmm. with the donkey. If you look behind you, there's a cat with a fish just mouth with a light on it. Do you think yeah. that's reusing that from that's, years ago? I was thinking the same thing because yeah. I've noticed that sitting over there and I'm like, why is there a cat yeah. with a fish? And that's here? recent. That's within the last couple years mm-hmm. that they added that. And it was weird. It's just not animatronic, not anything. It's just putting it in some weird dark area and putting mm-hmm. a light on it. Yeah, so I wonder if they just propped that up back yeah. there. It could be, um, but anyway, yeah. So, but I feel like it was bigger in that barrel. Really? I, I could be wrong about that. You I don't probably know. find video of it or something like that. Man, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, um, yeah. So that was what they changed then. Now, what's funny is then. So then the next big change came in uh, 2006. 2006, I think so. Yeah. About uh, we don't. By the way, not fact checking any of this stuff. So this no. is. This, all, this show is pure. Is <laughs> this show is purely yeah. for entertainment purposes and not information? Because I'm just farting this stuff out. But anyway, 2006 is when they when the big change happened, where they added stuff from the movies. Um, like that was uh, a big deal. Yeah, that yeah. was a big deal. Ooh, okay. Oh, sorry, that's screwed. Oh, no that's worries. Screwed out you. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we got we got steak. By the way, if in case you hear shouting in the background, yeah, it's, it's uh, grad night time. Like teenagers. Yeah, that's all we have to say about that. Anyway, okay, what did you get? Oh, you got steak. I got steak. a ribeye. Ooh, yeah, that's looking good. I love the ribeyes. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, we both got the ribeye steak because you got to go ribeye. Yeah. I don't think they've offered that here before. So you got to go in on that. Everybody's the best cut of steak. Yeah, I think I totally agree. But we're not this, talking about steak. No, this is the, this. Welcome back to steak talk, <laughs> uh, to meat 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 uh, discussion. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. But anyway, so I'll let this cool for a second. In two thousand, yeah, two thousand six, they added all the movie stuff, right? Yeah. And um, so they added a Jack Sparrow right at the beginning, and he's like hiding between the clothes. Or the dresses. No, no, no. We should go back. Mm. After the skeletons, there's a projection of of what, Davy Jones in this like this misty waterfall thing. Uh, you go down this like dark cavernous like yeah. You know, it's, just like, it's, a, dark, it's a dark cave. Um, yeah, I was kind of bummed about that because it used to be really really cool. Well, I, I still like the the Davy Jones and stuff like that. Sure, but. Before, it was just a creepy, disembodied voice yes. when you'd go through that. Yes. Basically warning you of what's coming ahead. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, I totally remember yeah. that. It was a disembodied voice, yeah. and basically it was just 
saying like, I, "This is probably the last friendly word you're going to hear from, for, like, from this, from yeah. onward." And uh, yeah, and then then you go into the whole pirate scenes and stuff. I remember specifically being a kid and sitting in darkness for a long time yeah. in that cavern, and the voices that was creepy to me. I think that's ultimately creepier than what they have now. I think it's a neat effect. It looks like there's a waterfall with his projection in it, with Davy Jones like appearing in it. Yeah. It's a neat effect, but we I just feel like we don't need a CGI dude. It's not the worst thing because he's it's Davy Jones, that's part of pirate yeah. lore. So it's it's not like the worst. And the effect is cool, but it, I, I miss the disembodied voice. I yeah, agree. Really. It's not the same. You want me to hold the camera for a bit? Uh, maybe for a second. Yeah. If you don't mind it for a second. <laughs> so anyway, all right, we're, we're going to do this. Is this an actual candle? Oh, it is. I was going to say you it can set it on little, there. It is a little hot. We don't want to set it on the fire. No. But anyway, um, don't mind me. with the <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, so um, so they added that. Then you go in and the, the pirate ship battle, they added Barbosa to it. It wasn't just a, a general pirate. Yeah. It was Barbosa. And... Um, they added, uh, now see, here's where it gets controversial. I didn't even mind that they made the Pirate Barbosa, and then they added, right after that, in the village, there's a Jack Sparrow hiding there. I didn't even mind, I didn't even mind that they added these animatronics, because Jack Sparrow's kind of hiding. In yeah. It. It's kind of... He's uh, not just like there in your face. No, it's subtle, and I like that. But what what's not subtle are honestly the audio changes that they made. Because now when you go into the pirate ship, it has this blaring um, movie score. This, you know, this Pirates of the yeah. Caribbean theme is blaring. And uh, it's not even bad. It kind of makes that scene exciting. But at, this, but at the same time, it was kind of neat just quietly going into it. You know, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, where Jack Sparrow's hiding in the village, mm -hmm. it's... Yeah, they're kind of, uh, they're all going, where be Captain Jack Sparrow? Everyone, where is he? Everyone yeah. is asking where Jack Sparrow is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why change everyone's line to be Jack Sparrow? Yeah, I think I think all the audio was more of an issue than just his animatronic hiding there. Yeah. You know, because if they had just left the audio the same, but, but Jack Sparrow's just like, almost like where's Waldoing it mm -hmm. in the middle of the room. I don't think anyone would care. I think the, changing the audio was a mistake. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, mixed, mixed feelings on that. Um, this is a good steak. It is good. I'm sorry everybody out there has to hear some chewing and, and whatnot. Um, anyway. But, yeah, so... The, so, he's hidden there. And then where is... It? Oh, so then, finally, they changed... The uh, the guy chilling by the barrel, like we mentioned a minute ago. Yeah. Now he's different. And now he's got a key. And he's bragging about, oh, if I could see the look on Captain Jack Sparrow's face. Um, if he knew I had the key to this treasure. And now Jack Sparrow's on the barrel. So first it was a naked woman. Then it was a cat. <laughs> then it was Johnny Depp. So downgrade every time as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, so that was that change, and then they added them. They got rid of the World of Motion pirates at the end. The guys who were tugging the treasure up the hill. They got rid of that, and they, now it's now it's Johnny Depp kind of like Leaning back sitting amongst the, yeah. his treasure, like happy he got all the treasure. Yeah. But I kind of wonder if I don't mind that ending because there kind of wasn't an ending there to begin with. Um, oh, that's real good. Sorry, that was Stupid idiots were asking me, <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the um, there was never really much of an ending there anyway, so it didn't no. totally bother me that they added that. But at the yeah. same time, I wonder if it kind of sends a message of like, of like, I got all the treasure, I win. Like, to me, the message of the right has always been like, look how the pirates kind yeah. of extinguish themselves, and I feel like him like being happy he has all the treasure is it kind of feels like. Yeah, maybe that's the wrong method. I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah. conflicted on that. What do you think? He, like, like, from what I can tell, it should have ended, like, before. Just, they were trying to, they never really got the treasure at the end of this ride mm -hmm. before. It was just right. them pulling out. It should have been Jack Sparrow just trying to, like, pull it like, out. Yeah. Being, like, not goofy, just still, mm -hmm. just not just being surrounded by treasure, and then mm -hmm. that's it, <laughs> saying goodbye to everybody. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, 
what was creepy, what was kind of cool about when it was the world of motion characters like pulling the treasure up the hill, it kind of felt like they were. It was a fruitless effort, and it kind of you kind of knew where it was going to end. Yeah, like they're gonna they're gonna take this, but you already know they're they're gonna die with this treasure. And I, I feel like that's it's not as mysterious with Jack Sparrow kind of like going like, no. hey, hey, I got it, you know. But it's still not bad. It's, it, it could be worse. To me, the bigger, like I said, the big flaw with the current one is the audio. I'm, I just wish they wouldn't have changed all the audio. Mm. Um, but anyway. It's challenging talking about this stuff while eating a steak. I know, it is. I think we learned learned a lesson today. Yes. How's that mac and cheese? Very good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's like it's like blue cheese mac and cheese? I think Gouda. Gouda? Yep. Yeah, everybody. This is how this is how you eat pirate style. It's Gouda. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is really good. It's everybody good. at home, if you're listening to the audio version, some really good Gouda mac and cheese just, just went in my gullet. Um, anyway. So, and then at the end, you go up a waterfall. The classic, the That's classic, when you leave the ride, yeah, you got to go back up. And uh, in classic, um, in classic Walt Disney fashion, there's like the famous TV special where, where he's telling the woman like, well, you went down a waterfall to get in. Well, you, well, you know what you have to do to get out. And she goes go up a waterfall and he's like yeah every anything's possible at Disneyland that's my Walt Disney impression um, but anyway that was always I thought one of the coolest parts yeah was uh, you didn't like my Walt Disney impression he's like laughing no. at me uh, was, was it was it didn't no do Walt di- proud uh, all right. sorry Walt but anyway um, I always liked that you go up the waterfall at the end I thought when I was a mm-hmm. kid I thought that was like that was really cool yeah. but it always got me scared because I thought like is there gonna be another drop like, oh, every <laughs> every single time I go, some kid is freaked out. There's gonna be yeah. another drop. Yeah. At that point. Yep. And then that's always a chance to prank them and say, "Yeah, this is gonna be the worst one." Mm-hmm. Freak them out. Absolutely. Um, in other parks, they've changed it up a little bit. Um, they, uh, I know him. If I recall correctly, now. Kevin has been to Disneyland Paris. Yes. And so have I. Their Pirates of the Caribbean is totally backwards. It actually starts with a big, pirates. Yeah. And and you go up a big hill at the beginning, right? Yep. Don't you? I'm pretty you sure. But I remember it. I think. I, I can't did. remember. But I do remember that the drop is later. Yes. Much it's later. not at the beginning. No. And... I actually I don't like that as much. I no. I I, um, I think the other ones kind of try to save it for a, uh, a thrill at the end, but I think I don't know. I liked the weirdness of going down at the beginning and up a, a, at yeah. the end. I thought I just thought that made it unique. Mm-hmm. I I thought that the line, the like the queue for Pipes of the Caribbean in Paris was better because it was really? just yeah it was all brick. It was a lot longer than this one. Mm-hmm. It was a lot more inside stuff. I really like when lines go inside and there's a lot of stuff to see like Indiana Jones um, yeah and I felt like a lot more of that was done in Paris yes than, than here yeah most of it's outside here and both both at both at Paris and uh, Disney World yeah it's like they built a kind of like fortress that yes. you go through sort of if I recall correctly mm-hmm. and um, in Japan I went to the one in Japan and it's like you're in a big Louisiana mansion and I do like the Louisiana connection and that's one thing that they have here in Anaheim, that's really cool. You know, I, I like all the brick and and and, the brick and stuff from from Paris and in Florida. Florida, it's supposed to be like a Spanish fortress. Okay. Um, but here, um, it's meant to be like we're in Louisiana, and then we drift off somewhere else. And that's one thing again that we have here that the other ones don't is again this this bayou area that you can see here. Um, this whole area, but then I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it from here. But they've got there's oh, like I a know. little there's a shack. It's just co- being covered up. But there's a shack over there with an old man, and he's just on the porch in a rocking chair, rocking back and forth. And some people say it's almost like that guy is kind of like reminiscing. Maybe he like retired yeah. in Louisiana, thinking back of the old days, and he's reminiscing about yeah, yeah like. Maybe he was maybe he was a pirate or he knew of those days or you know whatever. So yeah. Anyway, who knows? There's all these theories and everything. There's always theories, yeah. yeah. And and I don't know how much 
I put into those, you know, yeah. because uh, I don't think they were setting out to make some elaborate plot. I think they just wanted the experience. They yeah. wanted you to go through a bunch of pirates, and I remember when they said when they were talking about uh, when they first put it together, and Walt did a little ride through, like. It wasn't all done. I think all that was done was the auction scene, but yeah. he got to kind of walk through it or do a mock ride through. And they were all talking at once, and someone in the production was like, I'm sorry, Walt, they should not be all talking. I'm so sorry. You can't tell what they're saying. And Walt was like, I actually like that. because He's like, it was kind of like going to a cocktail party. You just kind of listen to all these different conversations, you know. So yeah. uh, I, I don't think they wanted, to, wanted there to be, to be a plot. No. I think they just wanted to make it a, a really neat experience, like, and you want to go on it again and again because you don't know what you saw, you yeah. know, like yeah. So, um, but yeah, anyway, all the intro stuff, like I said, the bayou, yeah. So here it's always it's got the Louisiana connection, and it's not like that in France. No, it's very fortressy, just like Florida. But but that's cool too. Yeah, and in Florida, there's like this kind of Spanish guitar thing in the in the queue, and I thought that was really cool. Um, <laughs> Just music-wise. But if we're talking about music, my favorite piece of music in the entire park, maybe Disney history, really? is the creepy flute music when you board and exit this ride. Can you There's hear it like when you board? A, yeah, you can hear it when you board. Yeah. you yeah. can. Sometimes in this restaurant, you, if you're over Yeah, if you're on there, the other side of the... We're can, on the far, far side it. of yeah, the restaurant. You can hear it, but um, it... It's just this creepy flute, you know. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna try to recreate it, but I don't <laughs> think I don't think I can properly uh, do that here. Oh, that's good. Okay, you got it. You that's got better it. You than got your Walt impression. You got it. Anyway, there. Everyone who uh, rides by in their boat likes to make jokes that we're fake people, or uh, throw, yeah. throw me a roll. That's every time, right? Yes, every time. Anyway, uh, we were we were saying that our friend Ryan always says "throw me a roll" when he's on this ride. <laughs> um, but Ryan also has a theory what? that the ride is about um, that when you go down the first drop, you're going down a what was it a time tunnel? Oh yeah, he was. I haven't heard of this in a while, but yeah, he was saying that you're going down a time tunnel. Yeah, that you're it was going like, back in time. Yeah, this is some kind of time travel apparatus or something. But again, I don't. I don't think they were thinking sci-fi when they built no, the ride. I don't think they. I don't know what that's all about. Um. Well. Um. The one thing that I think is interesting too, I wanted to say, is when you when you get on the ride, there's a sign for Lafitte's Landing. Yeah. Right. Right. Like right above you. As soon as you as soon as you get in, and. Um. The pirate Lafitte is mentioned all over Disneyland. And um, I remember there was a big theory on the internet that blew my mind about, and I think that I think it was, I think it was something they were trying to do to unify the history behind the Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion, where they wanted it to be something like Lafitte was a guy here, was a pirate, but he like retired in the Haunted Mansion and went mad or something like that. Yeah. And there's a there's a little nook there's a little hole in the in a wall near the haunted mansion it almost looks like a, I don't know what you would call it it's a little like archway. a bricked up archway yeah bri- it's, it's completely com- bricked up yeah it's completely bricked up uh, uh, sealed up and supposedly that was going to be part of some unifying thing and uh, they wanted to make some kind of crypt that you could go in and it would take you a Across, you'd go under the rivers of America and go into some like some pirate's tomb under the river, and it would take you to you could walk all the way over to Tom Sawyer Island. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I and, didn't know it uh, go that far. Yeah, and it was supposed to be a yeah something that united like like all the pirates died because of this treasure's curse, and that was the the curse that cursed the haunted mansion. You know, it was all supposed to be connected. Um, I think there was plans to kind of try to unify, unify that, but they, they mentioned Lafitte in tons of Disney stuff. Like, the, like you gotta look around. There's, yeah. Lafitte is mentioned in stuff, and it's like he's supposed to connect everything. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, you wanna hold this for a second? Oh, yeah. Do you mind? No, not at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna cut into the steak for a second, but anyway. Ooh. 
Is there anything else you can think of about, I mean, I just, th I just think for all the immersion and the artistry that was in it, for something that was built in the 60s, it's hard to top Pirates of the Caribbean. And again, I really think it's because it's the one ride that takes its time yeah. and adds atmosphere. I know a lot of people my age that don't want to go on it because honestly, it's like, you know, it's like really long and slow. And if you only look at rides as thrill rides, then yeah, it's not going to do it for you. But I don't really see it that way. I, I love old rides because they were meant to be artistic like that, you know? Yeah. And so that's why so I really like it. Experience. It doesn't have to be all speed and drops and exactly and stuff. Exactly. So um, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I like. I like the slow cute stuff, you know? Yeah. I'd rather go in small. I like world. a mix of both, mm -hmm. but I can love either one. Thrills are fun, no doubt about it. Yeah. But I like both for that reason. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of it, anything else in the world of pirates. Um, I remember being eating right here. I remember going to E3 one year, and a guy told me, he was like, Dude, I was floating on a boat in the blue bayou, and I like, I saw you. I was like, Yeah, and he's like, Yeah. Yeah, you were just sitting there. Yeah, I was probably eating. Yeah. <laughs> and you were with this chick, and you were just sitting there. I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, I was high as hell, man. I don't know. Were you trying to say anything to me? Nope. So, yeah, that was a great... That was the first time I met a game developer, so it was a great first impression. Oh, cool. Well, well. Anyway, I'm going to keep eating this steak, but... It's a good steak. Anything? Yeah, it is very good. Yeah. Anything else uh, you can think of? For... Oh, I do have a story from when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Of uh, I'll take this real quick. Yeah, in this ride, there is there's the notorious. It's actually like people talk about it like the dirty footed pirate. Mm. And he, it's basically a pirate sitting on a bridge with a foot dangling over the side, mm -hmm. and it's just a really dirty looking bare foot. And when I was a little kid, we were we were riding in the boat and under it, and I saw a drip come off the foot, like <laughs> like at the toe. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. And I look over, and my sister's sitting next to me, mm -hmm. and she is disgusting. Oh just god, completely like grossed out. Mm -hmm. And she's like, what happened? It's just like something dripped in my mouth. <laughs> so apparently, she had her mouth open, looking up, and this dirty toe water from this animatronic <laughs> came off and dripped in her mouth. Yeah, yeah. I will never forget that. I still see it. I still remember it every time I see it. You that. told me about that yeah. forever ago and I still think of it every time I yep. see that. <laughs> I cannot see that and not think of that one moment when I was a little kid. Yeah. Spe oh, speaking of that area of the ride, I, want, yeah. I just want to say, so you got the classic scene, three the pirates trying to get the dog with the keys to come over and they're handing him a key. Yeah. Oh, the ride's stuck right now. Oh, they're all jammed. I don't know if you can see, see that, but anyway, um, <laughs> they're reaching for the boat. Now, right after them, that is supposed to be, I've had a lot of people say, like, ask me, like, what is the next part of that ride supposed to be? Like, you're, it, it's like all the wood is broken. What is it? Well, it's like you're in the belly of their fortress where they keep all their gunpowder and stuff, and clearly, like, things have blown up. Yeah, it's all, like, yeah. charred. It's, like, leftover charred. It's, like, glowing embers. Exactly. It's supposed to be, the, yeah, where they keep all their ammo and it's all gone to hell. But anyway, one thing that works one in a thousand times that I go on that ride is the the roof and all the broken beams and everything. Yeah. All right. the supports are supposed to sway and creak and, and, and kind of like buckle down. And I would say I've been on this ride, let's say I've been on this ride a thousand times. I'd say three of those times that was working. Mm -hmm. It seems like they have fixed it lately. It it's seems been working like they, a lot lately. It's been working a lot lately, yeah. So I think they might have finally done it. But yeah. um, in my entire life, I've seen that moving like three times. So we should go on it today and see yeah. if it's moving. Yeah, it should. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, aside from that, um, I mean, I think that pretty much sums up Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, one of the, one of the one of the best. Yep. I mean, one, one of the classic of, rides. Yeah, I think in terms of dark rides, one of the best. Again, uh, my my favorite is probably Haunted Mansion. But this this it's neck and neck with this all the time. I think this is objectively better 
um, but the Anaheim one is still untouchable. It's so funny. They built yep. it in every other park, but it's none of them are as good. But I'm still kind of glad that they did good. something different. Yes. Because I would not, if I'm going all the way to another Disney park, yeah. I don't want a carbon copy of this. Totally, totally. I want something different. I want to experience something different, see something different. And the only one that I think is active, actively like you guys lost is the Florida one. The Florida one is like a trailer for this one. Really? Yeah, it's bad. Man. Uh, yeah, the Paris one was yeah. cool. It was different, you know, whatever. This one's bad. Yeah. Or the one in Florida is bad. Okay. Uh, because they did not have the room. They, so they wanted to, Mark Davis, the designer of the, of the ride, wanted to do like the, the sequel to Pirates of the Caribbean. Like we're going to top it in Florida. And he wanted to build a ride called Western River Expedition, which was a Western. And it was bigger, longer in every way than Pirates of the Caribbean. It was grandiose and super high tech and impressive and all that stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and they were going to build it and then they got so many complaints when Disney World opened that, where's Pirates? Where's Pirates? Yeah. Like there was even, in the park there was a model of West River Expedition so you can see. with an animatronic owl. I think it was Hoot Gibson huh. saying like, get ready for Western River Expedition. And um, all the guests complained, where's Pirates? Where's Pirates? So they built Pirates. And then it was like, okay, now we're doing Western River Expedition, right? Like, what are we doing? And they were like, oh, you know what? Guess what? Thrills. We got a big... So they built Big Thunder, which people love Big Thunder. Yeah. Big Thunder's a classic, but yeah. man, if you go online and look up art for Western River Expedition or look up the model for it or whatever, and it is a crying shame they never built that. It totally... Yeah. Have you seen the stuff for that? I have seen it, and it looks amazing. Yeah. So, like at D twenty three a couple years ago, they mm -hmm. did all like a, a like kind of a mock ride through of it. Yes, that's on YouTube. That's yeah. on YouTube. Check it out. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What could have been? What could have been? Uh, but Florida got their pirates. It's not very good. But the yeah. Paris one's cool. Japan one is cool, but again, like it's really the immersion that makes the. Anaheim one good because again because you go down the waterfall and then up at the end it's like you don't return to the real world until you ascend at the end yeah. and in Japan like at the end of the ride among the pirates there were like Japanese staff members about to help me out of the boat and it's like you're you're here with the pirates like there's no you know, you need to get away from the real world kind of you know what I mean to make it a really good ride definitely so anyway so Anaheim you still have the best pirates. They still do. Anyway, is there anything else to say about that? I mean, I think that's I pretty do, good. I do remember when, when, I, when I was a kid, I never understood if I was outside or not. Yeah. Like, every time I come up it the really hill, does. I have to look up and I'm like, am I outside? I, I could yeah. never figure it out when I was a kid. It does. Look, they do a really good job of, of lighting and everything. It, yeah. I mean, and again, and again, like, this is built in the 60s. Like, this is pretty incredible. Yeah. Like, it looks like it's nighttime. When you're a kid, I mean, that just blows you away. Mm. I have to say, too. I have to say too, when I was a uh, when I was a kid and I went on this for the first time, I was scared of the haunted mansion. I could not go on the haunted mansion. I was like, no, I don't want to go in there. And then um, I, I said, well, we'll go. I'm fine with going to Pirates of the Caribbean. And this ride scared the hell out of me. I did not know it was going to be so dark. Yeah. And so it scared me so bad. It scared me so bad that I was terrified. Really. And then when it was over, my mom and dad were like, "You want to go on the haunted mansion?" I was like, "No, no." And then my dad was like. Hey, you just went on that. It's no worse than that. I was like, oh, okay. It's like it softened the blow. So then when I was, a, I went on Haunted Mansion Perfect. and it was like, oh, this is great. I yeah. love this. And uh, yeah, so there it is. Um, but I know a lot of kids who still get really freaked out by Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. They think it's going to be some jolly and Johnny Depp experience and it's not. Yeah. Now, of course, you guys heard probably recently Johnny Depp did hide amongst the ride. He was standing in there surprising guests. Uh, and I feel really bad for the cast members who work here because I think they're asked every five minutes, is Johnny Depp in there? Is Johnny yeah. Depp going to be back? You know? Uh, so, sorry to everybody who works here. Anyway, that's the latest Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm in the middle of watching all the movies right now. The first one's good. <laughs> anyway, anything get ready else? ready for number five. Yeah, get ready for number five. I mean, we're gonna, I'm going to see them all. I'm committed. I haven't watched them since they, since they came out. Yeah. And they're known as classics, all of them, everyone. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. I think that's a good, good I discussion. I want to eat the rest of the steak. I'm, I'm getting no. tired of waiting no. on that. Doggy bag. I'm, I'm, I'm drooling over this, so I'm going to eat it now. Thank you, everybody. This is the first episode of Creepy Old Crypt. 
We had to go through a lot of titles, so maybe that'll change, but <laughs> I doubt it. We're sticking with it. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll see you. We'll do this every month, maybe? We'll try. We'll yeah. try to do it every month. We'll see what we do next month. Let, it, let us know what we should do. Yeah. But we probably won't listen. We'll probably do what we want to do. Because we're rebellious like pirates. Okay, bye. Is there any like, cool thing to end it on? Do like a flame ending. Yeah. And it, end it on a flame. I think it's going to burn out. It's Ooh, yeah, that's not a good idea.